Sonic 1029. It's National Nurses Week. Nurse Jackie, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Oh, not so bad. So how long have you been a nurse? 14 years now. 14. And how did you decide to get into nursing? I don't really know. I met a really good friend in university, and she was when I was doing my phys ed degree, and she was in nursing, and uh, I kind of became really close friends with her, and I decided to do a bit of a career path. She was really enjoying it, and so I thought I would try it out. So I did you ever think 14 years field, ago when so. you set out on this uh, career path that you would be um, enduring a, a global pandemic? Never. It never even crossed my mind, to be honest. So how's yeah. your day-to-day sort of changed through uh, through the last couple of months here? Um, at the very beginning, we didn't see a whole ton of change. I'm at the Stollery, so um, in pediatrics, we haven't obviously seen as many cases as in the adult world. Um, so things didn't really seem to change that much for us. The only, the biggest thing that we noticed, um, besides obviously we have to wear masks all the time now, um, is really the um, the limited amount of people that are able to visit the kids so family members parents at one point only one designated parent was allowed to stay with the child there was no switching back and forth um, and I think for our families and our kids that was probably the biggest and the most difficult thing they didn't have the support networks that they're usually used to uh, when they're in the hospital. And these kids are very chronic. They'll have this disease mostly for life. So um, that's huge. How has it been navigating the families through uh, through that kind of a situation when, you know, you have to limit visitation and that kind of thing and yeah, it's such yeah, a it's, critical time? it's tough. Um, our, we kind of have a designated manager that will talk to all the families and visit. A lot of people understand, but they're frustrated. Um, some are just devastated and sad um, that know they're not going to be able to get a break um, because you know if they're the only ones that can be there with their child at the hospital then they're not getting that break that they need so you know there's a big concern about caregiver burnout and um, and that kind of thing but that's changed since they are allowed to have two two parents or two designated caregivers that can switch off now so who are some of the uh, the unsung heroes is there anyone you want to uh, send a shout out to I think everybody in my, you know, in our healthcare team, the, the doctors and nurses always seem to be kind of the top ones that get shouted out to when people are thanking healthcare workers. But you know, there's everybody's there. There's physiotherapists, there's speech therapists, there's occupational therapists, there's the people that are delivering the food, you know, like the laundry people and everybody. They're all there every single day too. So I think they're kind of unsung heroes in all of this as well. Is there anything that we should be doing that we might be missing out on? Is there any way we can help you and support what you're already doing uh, just with sort of our day-to-day activities? Um, I think everybody's really taken on the stay home kind of mentality, which is great. I think as we start to come out of this, I think we really need to just be very cognizant about treating people with respect. Everybody's been through a lot in this and some people are faring better than others. Um, some people haven't been really affected at all because they're still going to work. And um, so I think we just have to be aware of everybody else's circumstances and not to, to judge other people, to really just be kind in everybody else's situations. So I think that's kind of the biggest thing. Well, Nurse Jackie, thank you so much for all you do. Happy National Nursing thank Week. Thanks, you too. Take care. <laughs>